the first 999 call of the day. We've been uh, stood down as there is a, a crew that's closer to us. The group were in the middle of a training session in the village hall, run by paramedic David Toman, when the dispatch came in. The demand on the ambulance service is increasing year on year. Uh, and sometimes, yes, it, it does take us a little bit longer to get to patients. But for the community first responders to be on scene within minutes in the local community, it is huge. But what makes them so special is that this village set up the first group in the country 20 years ago. And it's all thanks to Rosemary Wally, who was the local postmistress back then. The first uh, 12 months that we set this scheme up, we had inquiries from all over the UK. And we helped people in... Well, Rosemary helped people from Cumbria down to St Mary's in the Channel Islands. Richard is one of the longest serving members, but there's one day which he's never forgotten. The first time we, we saved a life, that was, uh, that was remarkable. We didn't use any special skills other than pressure on a, a serious wound. And that life was Rachel's. It took nearly three quarters of an hour for the ambulance to reach her all those years ago. But Richard was at her side in minutes. I tripped over a grow bag and I fell right through the side of the greenhouse. And as I fell, I put my hand out to save myself and the glass just sliced through my wrist, cutting 11 tendons, both arteries and all my nerves. And now the group is amongst the first in the region to trial new equipment to help non-injury falls to get upright again. Okay, ready, steady, stand. So, 20 years on, and what an achievement. I feel really proud, really proud that they've gone 20 years. I am astonished that it's gone 24-7 virtually for the 20 years. I am absolutely, I use the word gobsmacked, <laughs> very proud, very proud.